the existing site has three converging sewers. Uh, there is a residual smell, of course. We've got a lot of material out here. This site needs a lot of material. Everyone's a winner. My name is Josh Roy. I'm a sub-agent for the delivery team at Acton Storm Tanks. Acton site is the furthest west of all the Tideway sites, very start of the Thames Tideway Tunnel in a very residential area. It contains six stormwater overflow tanks, two of which have been decommissioned. There's been a lot of hard work uh, carried out by the team here for the last year or so. Now here we are constructing the drop shaft. We expect that to take somewhere between three and four months from now. We've been trying to involve ourselves in the community where we can. We had uh, 60 school children to the site. I think they had a good time, yeah. This is a really important day for Tideway. I'm, I'm really, really pleased to be here. This is the day that we've completed our, our first and our longest uh, connection tunnel. When you realise that you're standing directly under the middle of the River Thames, it's quite a weird thought. I think it's really exciting. And to know that apart from a few small handfuls of people, you know, when this tunnel's put into service, no one's ever going to be here again. It, it, it's quite a privilege. The quality of what's been done here is, is huge. It's a, it's a wonderful thing to see. So what happens now is, yeah, we'll get that's the primary lining done, we'll get the end filled up and then the, the team are going to take this floor out and put the secondary lining in and then it'll start to look like a, like a proper pipe and that's the next phase uh, and I really look forward to coming back and seeing that. Over the course of the project, we'll be excavating just over 4 million tonnes of excavated material from our tunnels and shafts. It's going to be reused on landfill sites to actually cap them and we turn them into nature reserves. So today we've been invited down here by the team of Veolia who run the site of Raynham. They're going to be showing us around. From Tideway we'll be receiving dredging from tunnelling. When the input material arrives here, it'll be stockpiled and then we'll use it during our summer restoration programme. Then eventually the areas we use it will look like this. So this site, like all of the landfill sites that we restore, will eventually be used as part of a nature reserve. We have lots and lots of birds, so it's birds in particular that people come here to see. Once the site's restored, local people will be able to use the site as a local amenity. Most of the material is going on the barges. Each one of the barges you see behind us here carries the equivalent of over 50 HEVs worth of material. So that's a convoy of 50 lorries that we've now taken off the road by each barge you see here. 